Alright, starting in the yeah, downward facing dog. Right, stretching those fingers wide apart. And spring, speaking of spring, <laughs> behind me is like a picture of the cherry blossoms blooming. Yeah? And then lifting one leg at a time, uh, lifting and stretching. You can also extend yeah, those fingertips away from the shoulders. You can rub the tongue around the mouth here. And then even when you practice, you'll discover new ways of flowing through it. Whereas before, for example, you like this, you're a fan of the vinyasa, uh, but as the inner body opens, yeah, you might feel changes in the way you access the joints. And then for me, yeah, this one feels good. Yeah, kicking and then even vibrating the leg up in the air and turning a knob inside the head like this. Sometimes... Uh, yeah, I would stay one leg longer and then even stretch that opposite hand. And then now the alignment is less structured. And you work on those alignments in the first yeah, years of your practice. Now celebrate the openness within and settle in the middle. All right, then breathe. I feel... Like my nostrils are clogged, I'll do one round of kapal body. Breathe, all right. Crossing through and sit. All right, my microphone is yeah, coiling around my neck. Okay, now to the floor. Okay, and then. Let the body circle around. Yeah. But ever since I'm, fa I'm, I'm a fan of circling. Yeah. Yeah. The organic expression of the breath flowing in and out in a concentric motion. And some arm stretching here and hip stretching, rubbing the tip around. Uh, you can turn in and out of the joint and the other one too you may use the hand in guiding the knee and then the inner thigh in and out Good. and crossing the arm behind the head yeah peeling shoulder to shoulder hip to hip and a few more of that rubbing all right and I will just turn over like this. And then bending yeah, that leg closest to the camera, to the side, and then the other one outstretch forward. Okay, bending the knee at the back, and then rub that knee joint around in circles. All right, Masetika Dasana. No. This position is one of. Yeah, the distinctive techniques I do for myself. Um, even before I learned the name of this position, I've been doing this already. <laughs> like, it just feels good doing this. Yeah. I just don't have a name for this position back then because I didn't know. I'm not, yeah, I don't research my practice, but information will just <laughs> appear and then come yeah and then i was so like yeah i'm happy that there's actually a name for this <laughs> yeah circling around i would do this like on the bed yeah when my low back feels heavy and tired okay, and then kicking mm. yeah but the much like it doesn't know you're not flowing the leg you're just steady yeah? but then he feels good doing this yeah all right good and then that um, extended hand opens wide across so i can just do a shoulder stretch there yeah. and you can turn the head you can use the hand yeah to rub the neck around yeah. and then take the other one you can bend just one knee or flip both knees up in the air and then settle 
right, and then across, and then reverse, and across, and reverse. Well done. All right, and back to your belly, and both knees circle around. Yeah, and this one feels good too. Yeah, you can let the leg yeah crisscross, fall, and then crossing and opening them. Yeah, turn the head if the neck feels heavy. And around in circles. And, and after this circular flow, I feel like the body is light and open. And I will do a 